Are you puking? Well, we're on our way to a very old cemetery. We're going to be doing... You got your phone and everything, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to be doing some EVPs. But... <laughs> it requires a hike. To get yes, to. it's kind of far. Yay! We're doing something fun and exciting, but yet safe and isolated. Because right now it's April 19, 2020. If you're watching this in years to come. <laughs> we're in the midst of the pandemic. That's right. I think we're kind of peaking here in Cleveland. <laughs> I've done a ghost adventure here before, before uh, before the digital revolution actually. <laughs> Got some cool pics. So first let's get this hike done. <laughs> Forgot your walking stick. <laughs> Okay, we made it up the hill. <laughs> We're in Valley View, Ohio. Those two were cool. They were all the ladies. I believe it's called the Terra Vista um, Wildlife Area, if you ever want to come up here. But, uh, yeah, I did a, a ghost investigation years ago before I was on YouTube. And this place is pretty active. We were there at night, too. Is this the one where you got pictures of the yes. orbs? Awesome. The giant pictures of orbs. So, we'll see. We'll see if we get any EVPs during the day, and I'm sure we'll come back at night. cemetery has a name. <coughs> but it's one of the oldest ones I've been to. Children of Julia A. Frank, Sonny Campbell, Gillette. Now there's some newer graves here too. Like this one's 1865, but I know there's some newer ones back there. We come in peace. We, can, we come here on this beautiful day to say hello to you all. If you'd like to talk to me, you can talk into my camera. Shout out to the G-Team Paranormal. We love Stacey Age 60 from the years, Road 3 Kitchen. months, and 8 days. What's that, 1812 or uh -huh. 1842? I think it's, it's like, a 12. Yeah, it looks like yeah, this one looks really old. This is like you'd see in scary movies. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Peace to you, brother, William Moses. Jephtha. I wonder if that's her, his wife. J-E-P-T-H-A, Jephtha. Betcha. That's one I never heard of. I betcha that's his wife. I wonder if she died in childbirth. He made it to 60, so... She only made it to 22. And it looks to me... Like she was born in 1822, 
or is that how they make the ones? I'm not really sure. 12. I think it's 1812. I'm not sure, because look at this one. Doesn't it look like a... It's hard to tell the ones are... Can that looks like a two, that's but what's that? Two. That's a one, so that's 1811. 18, so she was a little bit a little bit older than him, but died way before yeah, he did. So I wonder if she died when she was in childbirth. William Moses. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Let's see if anyone has to talk to us. I'm gonna be using an app. These I feel over here are some of the oldest ones. <clears throat> you ready to start the yeah. session? Yeah. All right, we're ready. We'd like to know if there are any. All right, I think there's going to be. Would you let, let me talk to them first? I'd like to know if there are any friendly spirits here that would like to speak with us. You can speak through this machine. MZ. MZ? <laughs> they know you're here. Something new. We come in peace. Would anyone like to tell us their names? I'm Leanne and this is Michelle and we're here to speak to spirits. Friendly, loving spirits. There's other people here. Maybe this will chase them away. <laughs> Can you tell us what years you were alive? Was it the 1800s? We're very interested in knowing what it was like here in your time. It's a beautiful place. Are you happy with where you're laid to rest? Here, hold it. I thought I heard <laughs> What's happening to this tree? What kind of animals doing that? Did it MZ, they keep talking to you. Is there someone here that wishes to speak to Michelle? I keep hearing you say MZ. Do you know her? I've been here before. Do you remember her from the past? Funeral? Were you here for someone's funeral ever? Does she look like someone that was at your funeral? Maybe you're the reincarnate of someone back then. get these other people on film but I kind of want to feel I feel like I should move around just bring it over here <laughs> 1833 about 39 years Julia Ann are you here? Do you wish to speak to us? We are here to honor and remember you. How old were you when you died?
Did you have? Change the rate a little bit. What was your husband's name? This one's very well new. The Comstocks. George Comstock. George, are you with us? Hi. Pass a few swiftly fleeting years. He was here during the time of the American Revolution. Wow. Did you fight in the American Revolution? You lived to a ripe old age of 65. I bet you saw a lot. Foreign language? Yeah. Uh -huh. If anyone recognizes that language, please let us know. Something makes me believe that old Comstock didn't speak a foreign language. Another Comstock, Gold Fitch. Fitch? Fitch. 1810. Wow, this is an oldie. And he was only 40. Fitch? Fitch, are you here with us? Fitch Comstock, we're calling on you. You were 40 in 1810. That's amazing. 2020 now. Are you keeping up? Crazy stuff's going on. picks up radio waves, I believe, so if there's a foreign language, uh, you know, language radio station, I guess it would pick it up. Asaf man. Be glad you don't have that name today, Asaf. Asaf man. <laughs> it was a da man? A da man. Maybe that's Ada. Ada man. The, the wife, wife of, of Thomas, Thomas man. man. Where's Thomas? <laughs> Who died? Man. And who was Ruth? Was she one of their kids? Age 27. Oh, only 27. 
Hi, Ruth. Could you turn that on? I feel like Ruth wants to talk to us. speak into it and we'll be able to communicate with you from the other side. It looks like you died in 1811 or 1822. It's hard. I think it's 1811. It's the year 2020 now. Can you give us any messages from the other side? I feel like she's trying to say something. It says age 27. Yeah, she's 27. Ada was 26. Oh. In 1937. This is Okay, Leanne says that she's drawn to this grave. Looks like 1838. listen to it on the headphones. Sixty years. Sixty years and eight months. Three months and eight days. Uh, Read much? My eyes don't see so good in the carved stone. I'm almost as old as uh What you say, William? William was when he died. You have something to say? Do you like it when people come here? Those children that were just here put dandelions on your headstone. We thought it was a cute touch. What do you think? Isn't it amazing people are still visiting you in the year 2020? Very interesting to hear 
what you say. You're not telling. place to be laid to rest, William. Yes, I hope you enjoyed your time here, because it sure is gorgeous. And we come here with the utmost respect for you and your family. I think I was stepping on. This is Phoebe, wife of William. Ah, this is William's wife. Phoebe, what do you have to say about William? Come, clo bring it closer. So, uh, here. Mm -hmm. What Phoebe saying about old William Moses? Phoebe, I like your name. Oh, I think that was her. Did you and William have children, Phoebe? Are any of your descendants still in this area? Do you know? Yes. Have you traveled to other planets? What do you think of what's going on in 2020? Is there anything you can say to help us in our future? It was a pleasure to meet you, Phoebe. Rest in peace, Phoebe. Goodbye. Okay. Is this what he is? L. S. Campbell. Is this the uh, one that he was saying? Captain. with us. We're looking for friendly spirits who wish to communicate. You guys died in the 1800s. It's now 2020. Does it even matter? Have you reincarnated? How many times have you reincarnated since you died? Eight? How many spirits are speaking with us now? We're happy to be able to come out and visit you today. Julia and Frank, Marianne. Let's go see what Mr. Hinton has to say.
Hello, Mr. Hitton. September 25th, 1865. Hi, John. We come in peace to communicate with you from the other side. Did you fight in the Civil War? You Mom. died at the age I am now. 56. Did you have a good life? What is your message for the people of 2020? Thanks, John. It's a pleasure visiting you. over there we're going to take you guys to so hold on we'll be back all right here's the little lake i don't believe that this is a man-made lake but i'm not sure See, there's fish in there. Someone's fishing. She got some. This would be a nice place to fish if I still fished. It would be nice to go over there. I've never gone way over there. All that is wooded, man. I'm telling you, this would be a great place to stealth camp. We could bring a picnic someday. Get your picnic basket ready. So what do you guys think of the secret little lake? Pretty sweet, huh? I love it. If you guys are in the area, I can give you the coordinates if you want to come visit here. <laughs> it's a really cool place. It's usually very secluded, but it is a Sunday and it is in the middle of the pandemic. So people are... It's a little warmer. We're going to show you our own secluded beach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got some cool places. Maybe let it to it. Well, I already knew where it was. A little tiny trail to... Hi, hi. But she did help us get back because yes. she knew the we way. couldn't find the hole in the yeah. brush. That's why it's best to go there in the spring or the fall when the leaves are down. It's easier to find the trail. It's one of those places where if I would have discovered as a child, I would have been in pretend heaven. Yeah, it's, I love this place. I'm very drawn to this place. All right, we're making our way down the trail now. It's pretty down steep. You can hang on if you want. Country roads to the place I belong. Western Pennsylvania, Mountain Mama.
Well, we hope that you enjoyed that uh, EVP session in that very old cemetery. Uh, if you see, saw anything or heard anything, let us know in the comments. And I know a lot of you just enjoyed getting out in nature. I know lots of you are big nature fans like us. And I certainly enjoyed getting out of the house, having a little adventure, and being with you guys. Okay, thanks guys. We had a lot of fun, and thanks for coming along. We'll be back again. Uh, I'm going to try to get some lights so that we can do a nighttime investigation. I've been here before in, at night, and I had a lot more experiences. We'll have to check the recordings, uh, the video, and see if we got anything. Uh, we didn't feel anything. We didn't hear anything. But we'll, you know, check the video. Let us know if you heard or saw anything in the comments. And we hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more adventures. We'll be back. Love you.